Here, I got them kind of scrunched up in a shoe box. I'm going to put the lid on and put a plastic bag over it and he's going in the freezer and I'm going to call up and mold the place tomorrow. He's going to be cremated. I'm going to do a proper burial for him and stuff. It's freaking just, you know, I'm going to get him a little shrine. So, sorry little guy. Damn, if I would have known, I didn't think, but you know what? Even in that five hours, he could have been done. I don't know. Nothing I could do, man. Shit. Yeah. He was poisoned. I'm almost guaranteed that. Gorilla tape over that. And uh, I got this plastic bag, and he's going to go in the freezer. This box fits in there, no problem. I'm going to wrap the plastic bag up with Gorilla tape, too. So. so I got him in the freezer with the whatever, you know. Then I'll, I'll call him up tomorrow, and uh, I'll put him up next to Gold, dig Gold Digger. So, you know, I gotta watch. I don't know what the hell's going on. You don't know what the hell's going on, do you? Huh? That's your. You you you're the one that. Uh, how come you guys don't tell me where he was? God, she was going. Yeah, because he's not. He was kind of like decomposing a little bit because she smelled something, but. I'm surprised they don't tell you know, he's right there, even these guys. What the hell's the matter with them? Right? You guys aren't conscious of things like you should be, right? Especially you, you know, mommy. You were breastfeeding them all the time, weren't you, huh? Anyway. He's going up there with uh, Miss Miss Tiffany Goldigger, so I don't know. I you know what? I'm really wondering why I'm not seeing so many cats around here too and I'm thinking somebody told me years and years ago that they poisoned the squirrels and I'm thinking yeah and squirrels or raccoons and I don't know but I, the thing is I'm putting out I mean, maybe maybe just because he went I don't know I don't know what the hell he did it only takes I guess a couple bites or something to do it could be anything it could be rat poison for crying out loud he could have went under somebody's house or in somebody's shed and they put rat poison there. You know, could be anything. I don't know. Could just be a fluke. But right now, I'm kind of worried about this shit. I can't keep all these guys in here all the time, but Feather and Onyx pretty much stayed close by. But at least I know what happened to them. So, anyway, I'm kind of dope. You. That you. Yeah, I was yelling at you for don't, don't go outside. <laughs> You know what? I don't think you'd be a problem with him or him, but who the hell knows? I don't think he's a problem with Boots. He's been freaking, he's been getting around here. He, he's, I just put some more good food out for him and stuff. But I don't know what the hell he ate. I don't know what the hell he ate. He ate something. That was not a disease. That was not like worms. That was not freaking, um... I don't know what, you know, it was poison. It definitely was poison. Definitely. The tips, you know what, too? And I'm talking like the tips of his paws. Not his whole paw. Just like this right here was dark. It's almost like if you get poisoned, your nails get dark or something. Something was fishy with that. I mean, I don't know what the hell it was, but... Um, I'm not sure if I could have saved him. Yeah, I know. You want to go outside, little fucker. You know what? He's, he's going to wind up going outside anyway, but... Um, I don't think there'll be a problem with him. But right now, I'm really nervous <laughs> with this shit, but... I don't know. I think... Uh, I don't know. He definitely was poisoned. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Like I said, it was like... Not his whole paw... Just right over here, that was dark. It was like something. The only thing I could, you know what, now in retrospect, I'm thinking I got that HHO unit out there. I could have cranked it up on full power, put the hose underneath him, let this damn thing run through his body or something. You know, maybe it would counteract the poison. I don't know, though. I don't know. He was in bad shape when he came over here, though. I don't know what the hell. I, he probably, he probably. Died that morning on the 27th of the of uh, February. So he's under. He was under that. He was under that whole time. I'm looking all over for freaking guy. He's right there. Yeah. I didn't think of under the stairs in the back there. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that shit. I should have thought of that, but it was like I got a, I got a feeling he was already a goner when I got up at 11 o'clock. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. You want to go outside? Well, you're going to be wind up going outside anyway because I'm freaking, you're never going to stay here all day. This guy don't like it inside too much. Right? Right? What? You get a funny quiet meow, don't you, huh? I wish I could tell these people. These fucking guys. What are you doing? I wish I could tell them. He's a friendly guy. He is. He is. You, more or less. Um, I wish I could tell them stuff, though. Explain to them. I wish I could tell you what's up. Yeah. So I don't really think of you guys as animals. You're cat people. Right? Anyway. Oh well. At least I know. Because man, I was I'm spending a lot of time looking into security cameras. I mean it takes me a while to go through that footage because you can't go through it that fast. Because you can miss something. You're doing it on a fast forward. So you see the cat go like this, psh, like that through the security camera and he's actually walking, you know. So you gotta be careful, you gotta watch. So I'm going through all that crap. It takes me it takes me like uh, I think it takes me almost a half an hour to go through um, eight or nine hours of footage or something like that. So I've been doing that for the whole, whole day. You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't think, I don't think Paws is dead though. I think he's in somebody's house. That one night he came, I saw, that definitely was him. That one night he was across the street. I saw the white breast on him, the four white paws. I could see that clear as a bell. But he wouldn't, he got scared by the car <laughs> that was pulling out at five o'clock in the morning. So, and you, you were, you came from someplace. You were under the hood of the El Camino several, about five years ago. <laughs> God, you've been here a long time too. Dixie would have been perfect for inside. He just hates it inside. He's a little guy, he's not very big. He's smaller than you, even. Right? But you know what? Dixie's here with us, here with us in spirit. I think so. And you. I'm going to let him out. But not tonight. Not tonight. He's going to go by the door. I was yelling at him. Because I didn't want him to go outside when I was trying to get Dixie out from underneath the stairs. So. Anyway enough talking going on. There's Tiffany Goldigger and uh, you know I was just at a funeral for I don't want to say who but this guy's one some one tough guy put his picture up here next to Tiffany Goldigger. He's uh, the last survivor of a Kamikaze attack World War II died at almost 100 years old. One of the last things he said after his stroke clear as a bell not that much not only several hours before he died he got up and said he went to stroke, clear as a bell. I am a warrior. He said that. Believe it or not. So, these are the kitty cats with him. And my other kitty cats can be with him too. Right? Anyway. It's fucked up. You know, I'm, I'm, it's, better than, it's better finding them than not finding them. I'll tell you that right now.